this woman decided to adopt a parrot to cure her loneliness and spent many years in its company. When she was dying and it was time for her to say her final goodbye, the bird reacted in a way that left many people speechless. Sometimes we are surrounded by people and still feel abandoned. Some people do not desire human companionship and prefer to alleviate their loneliness with the unwavering love of a pet. Cats and dogs are the most common choices, but some people would rather own fish, small reptiles, or birds. The protagonist of our story is a lady who found companionship in a bird, a parrot that lived a bit longer than the average house pet. She lived in Lyon, France, in a small apartment of her own. She was getting older, had no husband or friends, and knew that a pet would keep her company in her lonely house. The rules of her condo stated that she couldn't get a dog or a cat, so she decided to adopt a parrot. She had spoken to her landlord about the possibility of getting a bird, and he had agreed that a parrot would be less annoying than a mammal. Birds mostly stay in their cages and occasionally make noises that are less loud than barking. The woman agreed that this was the best option and began to do her research on parrots. She couldn't just go to any store because parrots are not commonly kept in pet shops. Eventually, after much research and joining communities to discuss the perks of being a parrot owner, she found the perfect companion. He was a special African grey parrot with ash-colored feathers who did not require a large amount of space. It was the perfect match for her, and yet she was still unsure. She feared that perhaps such a special bird would require too much care or would be too costly. However, she went back to visit the parrot several times and eventually warmed up to the idea of becoming his owner. The parrot liked her too. She named him Sinbad and took him home. From the first day, Sinbad would be delighted every time she walked into his room. He would swing and dance and talk to her. Soon enough, the lady realized that they were meant to be. The day that she brought Sinbad home was the day that she found out the rest of her life was going to change. Finally, life wasn't just the same routine over and over again. She now had to take care of Sinbad, and he was a delight to be around. He would sing to her in the morning and repeat the funny phrases he picked up from the street. For all the noise he made, she almost felt like she had another human in the house. They would sit on the balcony while she sipped coffee or watched the sunset together. She made new friends through the parrot owner's community and realized that this pretty bird was exactly what she had been looking for. Owning a pet was a big step for her. A cat or a dog would have been more challenging, but a parrot requires a special kind of commitment. Parrots are incredibly intelligent animals and can live up to 50 years. The woman and her parrot soon became best friends and lived together for 25 years. Now, 25 years is much longer than the typical age span of a dog or a cat. 25 years is a quarter of a century. At first, the lady was amazed at how well Sinbad was doing over the years. She had feared that she might have to rehome him due to her old age, but eventually decided that the two of them would live together until their last breath. Her apartment just seemed brighter with Sinbad in it. She felt less lonely than ever before. When her children visited, they enjoyed his company as well. He was a friendly bird and loved all the attention he received. When visitors came over, he would often show off the tricks he had learned from the woman to get praises and scratches on his head. Sinbad could sing songs, whistle several tunes, and even knew his own name. Sinbad learned many words and tricks over the years and was able to communicate with the human. Some people said that parrots can only repeat back what their owners say, but she felt Sinbad was different. Aside from all the fun tricks he could do, she really felt like he was talking to her. They would always say good morning and good night to each other. She would talk to him about her problems and he seemed to understand, even if his answers didn't always seem to make sense. As their bond grew stronger, so did their emotional attachment to one another. Parrots are some of the most emotionally intelligent creatures in the world and the woman was absolutely convinced that Sinbad knew what she was saying. He was more than just a pet, he was a best friend. Slowly, as time went on, the woman got older and her health started to decline. She tried to live at home as long as she could, but her body was failing her quickly. 
One moment she felt healthy and strong, and the next she had to sit down and rest her tired joints. She knew she didn't have much longer, but she didn't want to believe it. After all, she still had to take care of Sinbad. She decided that she would just go see the doctor for a quick checkup. One visit turned into two and three and four, and before she knew it, she was also seeing specialists and visiting the hospital often. Sinbad was left alone for longer and longer hours. The lady always tried to book appointments in the middle of the day so that she could still say good morning and good night to her friend without much interruption to her schedule. The parrot, as we mentioned, was very intelligent. He knew that something was wrong and started to tell her that he loved her much more often. For a while, his thoughtfulness brought her a little light and energy, but it didn't last for long. Eventually, she was admitted to the hospital where she learned that she didn't have much time left. The doctors made sure to tell her family to say their last goodbyes. Those final days were filled with tears and brave plans made about what sort of funeral she wanted. It was during this time that the woman's daughter took Sinbad with her on a visit to the hospital. The parrot seemed to realize the weight of the situation and stayed close to his owner the entire time. Even though he was normally very active and chatty, Sinbad was particularly quiet that day. Of course, no one had told him that he was going to the hospital or that his owner was unwell, but it seemed that no one had needed to. Perhaps he had really understood when the woman had talked about her troubles at home, or perhaps he could simply sense the atmosphere in the room. Either way, it was clear that he knew. He remained next to his owner, hopping around on the bed, trying to check if she was all right. The woman's daughter asked her mother to say some last words to Sinbad, to let him know that she would miss him. Frail and tired, the dying woman mustered up the strength to say, I love you, to her beloved parrot. As soon as these words were said, the parrot reacted in such a heartbreaking way. Sinbad seemed to become more alive. Just hearing the voice of his owner gave the bird hope. Unfortunately, that didn't last long. It was the woman's final goodbye to her beloved Sinbad. It may surprise many of you how much emotional connection birds can feel with their owners. In fact, science shows that parrots can feel depressed after going through a traumatic event like losing a loved one. There are even antidepressants available for birds like Sinbad. Sinbad was adopted by the woman's daughter, and although they haven't had as much time to bond as he did with his original owner, it seems things are going well. She has promised to take care of Sinbad until the end of his days, and together they can remember her mother and the special bond they all had. Hello everyone. 3D printing was only in science fiction not long ago. Now it has been widely used in daily life. 3D printing is already helping animals a lot. What is 3D printing? In short, 3D printing is a manufacturing technique. It is a three-dimensional product based on a digital model. But how this technology is making life easier for many animals. We will tell some interesting cases in today's program. This story is about a puppy who was born with a STD. This chihuahua named Roy was born without front legs. The puppy's fate seems destined to be miserable. But its owner decided to give the puppy a chance at a happy life. He left it at the shelter hoping the dog would find a loving owner. Luck did favor this little dog. Veterinarian Ashley Olson of Indianapolis loved it and brought it home. He tried to make a set of wheeled toys out of plastic tubes and parts for it to use. After seeing the news about this dog. Mark Derrick, director of a 3D printing company in San Diego, decided to help this puppy with a 3D mobile stroller. They ended up creating 10 moving 3D carts. Their structure can be replaced as the dog grows. This lucky chain of events allowed the puppy to finally move fast. That's how it got its name. What follows is a story about Dimak, the Russian cat who was badly frostbitten. The cat was brought to Norfolk Veterinary Clinic in October 2018. They noticed that its limbs were badly frostbitten. Veterinarians decided to amputate its legs and tail. Dimac can only move by crawling and it has a poor appetite. Animals in this condition are often euthanized. 
but Dr. S.G. decided to install a bionic prosthesis for it. He analyzed the possibility. Its new legs are digitally modeled and 3D printed in titanium. Unique porous structure enables maximum joint integration. Animal bones will be fused to the titanium prosthesis to prevent body from rejecting it. It is also overlaid with a special calcium phosphate-based biological code. The biocode was developed by scientists of Tomsk Polytechnic University. This makes implants look like a bone. This minimizes the possibility of rejection. Prosthetics are implanted into the bones of the cat's front and rear legs. They also attached little claws to it. That's made of flexible plastic and can be replaced as needed. Seven months later, the prosthesis is fully implanted in Dimak's body. It's unbelievable. It's almost healed. It can walk, run, walk upstairs, and it bounces amazingly. Amputated Duck A duck at a Tennessee waterfowl sanctuary was born with its left foot turned backwards. Physiotherapy and alternative treatments used by doctors are ineffective. The disease caused this duck a lot of pain. So its foot was amputated. This is to make its life easier. Workers try to make a wooden prosthetic. But that's uncomfortable and heavy for ducks. Volunteers then turn to a company that specializes in 3D printing, asking them to provide silicone prosthetics for the ducks. That is a premium replica. Actually, it's another duck's left foot. It is used as a sample for 3D models. Ducks with prosthetic legs become popular on social networks. It has its own Facebook account. There are many fans who follow the duck prosthetics closely and are interested in the life of this unique bird. This company has developed several 3D prosthetic variants for the duck. It uses this to waddle and swim on the surface of the water. Special Christmas Holiday Model Stepped On by Thai Elephant Martha at 7 months old. But no one knows there's a mine under there. It lost its front leg in the accident. To give this poor animal a chance to live a normal life. Thailand Elephant Rescue Center and Asian Elephant Foundation turned to renowned Thai surgeon TCJ for help. He is a doctor with extensive experience in 3D printing. The doctor didn't turn them away, he agreed to help the huge animal while meeting its needs. So he started working on prosthetics. As Martha grew, so did the rest of the prosthetic. Its prosthetics have also been improved. Nine surgeries and nine years. With the careful work of surgeons and the care of animal rescue organizations. Martha becomes the first elephant to have a prosthetic. The prosthesis weighs 15 kilograms. It's durable and not too heavy for an elephant. And Prosthetics are 3D printed from steel frames. They used thermoplastics and elastomers. This beautiful toucan has a very large beak. In Latin America, it was attacked by rogues. It lost a vital organ, the beak. Toucans use it to get food and preen their feathers. When the Humane Society found the bird, it can no longer survive in nature. They decided to raise money to make a 3D beak for it and name the prosthesis after it. They posted on a crowdfunding site asking for help. Misfortunes of birds affect people greatly. The project raised over $10,000 in two days. Beak prosthesis must be light but strong. The bird would continue to grow, so they decided to create a two-part artificial beak. The inside of the beak can be removed for disinfection. The upper part can be replaced as it grows. Birds' beaks are also unique markers to attract females. So they're going to use some different bright colors on its beak. Here's the benefit of having a prosthetic too, helping this toucan reproduce. Horse with bad hoof. Holly, a white mare from Australia, suffers from a dreaded hoof disease. This can seriously affect the animal's hooves. Disease that causes swelling inside the hoof, resulting in poor blood supply. It also compresses the soft tissues of the legs. Severe pain afflicts animals not only when walking, but also when standing. Vet Lickwell Smith offers to ease Holly's pain. 
For this he turned to Australia's National Science Agency in Sydney. Experts at the centre were able to 3D print a titanium horseshoe. This re-enables the horse to have a hoof. And they reduce the weight of the hooves, which relieves the animal's pain. Finally Holly was able to walk and even run again. Sometimes the fight to save animals takes an unexpected turn. South Africa's Inverdorn Game Reserve Director Damien Vernet recommends a ban on products made from rhino horn. The reason he did it was for animal safety. The death rate of the endangered white rhino is high. They are widely killed by poachers. The main reason they are killed is because of rhino horns. This is the main reason for the suffering of those unfortunate animals. What happens when the rhino loses its horn, how would they survive without the protection of their rhino horns, some propose replacing horns with 3D, printed prosthetics made of aluminum and plastic. It's fully functional and not offensive to anyone. The idea of rhino horns has been tested. We hope that greedy poachers will stop harming other animals. Turtle without shell. Brazilian tortoise Flanders suffers from a horrific fire. It was exposed to high temperatures, and the turtle shell went from cracking to completely shattered. A turtle cannot survive without a shell. But an animal rescue group called Animal Avengers came forward. They have surgeons on their team, they decided to save the reptile. They did a lot of preparation for this project. In order to make an artificial shell exactly like its shell. The scale model of the turtle shell used thousands of photos of Flanders and other turtles. It's necessary. Taking into account the specific characteristics of the injured animal. They have difficulty customizing prosthetics to the individual size of the injured animal. The frame structure is manufactured with the help of a 3D printer. Then the designer also added the required composite material by using printing technology. They are lightweight but durable. Its distinctive shell was originally white. But after an artist manipulates it, it acquires a natural look. Looking at Flanders today, it's hard to guess what it has gone through.